So recently, every morning, I've been coming out here and documenting the high and low of each of our greenhouses and uh, one cold frame. I figured this morning I'd bring you along, give you a little tour. I know I said I wanted to do some tours. Summer just got away from me, helping my brother on his channel. Um, so I didn't really have time to do my own thing, but she's, she's kind of getting put away for the winter. We do still have some carrots and, well, quite a bit of carrots, quite a bit of lettuce. We're getting some tomatoes. Um, it's supposed to be real cold in about three days, so I think we're, we're hoping that a few more tomatoes ripen up, but we might have to just pull everything in three days and then we'll be done for the year. Lettuce right now is, is doing really well. It's actually some of the best lettuce we've gotten all year. We had a hot summer and over, over the year, in the middle of the year, the lettuce got a little bitter. It was just too hot. And now this round has been really good. I'm really enjoying that. Pretty much everything's survived the first frost. We already had a frost. Uh, the only thing that didn't really make it was the butternut squash. It wasn't a, it wasn't a real hard frost, but the butternut squash was, was completely wiped out. But we did get most of them off the vine. There was only about three or four bodies left over that we weren't able to get. Um, so it was, it overall, it was a good year. We already cleaned up this bed behind me, the melons and the cucumbers. Uh, and the squash were going on it. Uh, we already put some some welded wire up the cattle panels Wasn't the best year for that the the, the cucumbers didn't want to grab the cattle panels in the past The cucumbers grabbed the cattle panels, but this year for some reason they didn't want to So we threw some welded wire on there and hopes that next year it won't be a problem um, Also moving forward. We'll probably grow a little fewer cucumbers and more squash uh, the butter squash we grew this year was awesome and it stores really long and if you're new around here, we're trying to grow all of our food and we're in the north, so we need stuff that stores well. Uh, cucumbers, moving forward, will probably just be for pickles, uh, a couple plants for pickles, and then a lot of butternut squash we can store. A-frame, I'll, I'll show you what's growing in there real quick, and then I'll grab those temperature readings and we'll move on. Inside the A-frame, uh, this is all carrots right now. I, I did plant some spinach yesterday and some radishes and some bare spots. But for the most part, this this is carrots, um, and they're babies. They're just little dudes. I don't know if these will get to maturity, but it's just it's an experiment this year, and uh, we'll have a better idea moving forward of when we need to plant this. Um, this year, we were kind of just running blind. It's only been a few days, but the temperature readouts I've gotten in here, I, I really like. Two days ago, there was a high of 68, and they got up to 85 in here. It was staying around 85, and then uh, the low it was down 41 and in here it stayed 51 so about 10 it was about 10 degrees warmer in here than outside at the lowest and it didn't get too hot you know the cattle panel I'll show you that when I get over there the problem I'm having with that right now is it's heating up really hot in the day and it's not holding it as well um, I have a few theories we, we've only been doing this for a few days so I don't want to make any uh, jump to any conclusions but I the, I think the rocks in here are helping to hold thermal mass and then or heat or thermal whatever and then in the cattle panel, we're gonna start collecting some rocks to throw in there to help store some heat throughout the night. But right now, uh, I'm gonna check that temp. It was a low, uh, last night wasn't cold, so it should've been fine in here, but I'm, I'm just curious, documenting the temperatures. We planted um, we planted some sunflowers on our hoogle, uh, just because we didn't want the hoogle to be bare. We, we didn't think we could grow any food on it, and I did plant some lettuce just to see, and the lettuce didn't do well. Um, just because I don't think it's broken down enough, but we wanted some sunflowers on there just to give them structure. I didn't think they would do well at all just because there's a lot of sticks uh, sticks in there, but they, they're massive. These are the biggest sunflowers we've gotten. It's pretty cool to see them. Um, we planted them pretty late too, and they've gotten that big in a pretty short period of time. So I'm gonna go grab the other, the temperatures from another cattle panel and I'll show you some of our chickens. You getting cleaned off? Yeah. Clean your head, yeah. That little buff, um, for some reason, runs out to me every morning and pecks my feet. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of funny. Um, and then he runs back to the food, so I guess it's just him saying hi. Uh, I was really hoping it'd, it'd be a hen, but it, it turns out it's a rooster, so I don't know, we'll probably sell them down the road. Um, we hatched some ourselves, some buffs and some lavenders, and then a few more death layers. Um, the lavender looks to be a hen, but the two buffs turned out to be roosters, so. Um, we already have some death layer roosters and some Spitzhaben roosters and we haven't decided how many we're going to keep but um, probably two, three at the most, maybe four. We had a sick hen, uh, we, had, we had a sick chick and we threw her in the greenhouse to keep her away from everyone and I left the door open so the temperature won't be as accurate but uh, inside the cold frame I'm still going to document it um, just to see kind of where it's at. Uh, 
it wasn't a cold night anyway, so um, I'm more interested in what's happening when it gets below freezing, but you know, it's still a good data to have, I guess. So the readings are right in line with what I've been getting. Uh, like I said, I think I said it was 68 uh, outside, uh, low of around 50. Uh, the cold frame stayed around 56, and then it got up to 128. Inside the, the greenhouse was 50, which makes sense because the doors are open, so it's you know it was going to get down to the low. And then the high was 106. Um, that cold frame is getting too hot during the day, so I'm going to rummage through. I'm going to go up to the pole barn and just rummage through what we have and see. See if I can rig something up to open her up during the day because that's just too hot. Nothing's going to go on 130. I can only find one pulley. Um, I used to have this whole place inventoried in my mind. I knew everything we had and where it was. But then, you know, with the new pole barn and moving everything, I haven't had time to, to restock everything in my brain. Um, I know we have more pulleys. Um, I just gotta find them. And then, while, while I'm up here, I'll give you a quick tour of the barn. We got workbench area. I built a little work table on some wheels. I can roll it around when I'm doing stuff to tinker around things. And then I built some lumber storage. Rest is just, um, Car, car parking and quad and golf cart. That stuff's not exciting. Um, so, you know, whatever. That'll work. Got to find another pulley and do the next one. But for now, that's good enough. And, uh, you know, I'll go show you the orchard. You think the pulley's gonna work? Do you think the pulley's gonna work, Niles? I like both our geese, but I like Daphne the best because she's always supportive of my work. So this is the food forest. We're up to 19 trees now. One plum, one cherry, one unknown. Uh, we have some grapes, a lot of raspberries, a lot of blueberries intermingled. The apples, we, we got a lot of apples this year. We need to improve our pruning game. Um, but there were five trees that got significant apples, so we uh, we didn't really prune much this year because the prior year there was a really late frost, so we kind of wanted to let them grow. And now that we know that they're producing apples, we'll we'll get at them a little bit more this year, this winter, and then hopefully next year they'll produce even more. This year we planted some lingonberries or lingonberries. I'm not exactly sure how to say them, but they're very cold hardy. Um, <clears throat> I'm excited to have those. Uh, we're really up in our berry game. We have lingonberries now, uh, currants, red and black, jostaberries, but I'm not sure if we'll be able to keep those. Um, those aren't technically hardy down to our zone, but the greenhouse said that we got them from said they should work, so we'll see. And then uh, I always get the name wrong. I call them northern berries, but they're not northern berries. And I'll think of what they are, um, but we have those, and then I think that's it for our berry game. I'll show you the raspberries. We've been working on it the past couple of days to get it under control. It's been, it was just a chaotic mess uh, earlier in the year, and we didn't want to do anything about it because we wanted to let them grow, and now they've produced honeyberries. They're, they're called honeyberries. I knew I'd remember it. I always call them northern berries. I don't know why, but they're honeyberries, um, and that's them. We didn't get a ton of them. Well, we got a lot of them, but then the birds got them all. Uh, we've since kind of got a bunch of bird netting, so next year I'm looking forward to having some of those and actually uh, getting to eat some. And then next to those we have the grapes, and then on the back side of that we have the raspberries. Really cleaned it up. Um, there'll be a, a more in-depth video on that on my brother's channel very, very soon. We're not quite done. Um, the first ones we kind of just piled up in the front and then we transplanted a couple of those primocanes, but we've been mostly grabbing ones from the back. They're boins. Um, we, don't, we like the boins better. They don't have thorns, so they're just a lot easier to work with and harvest, um, and they just get huge. So we'll have some trellises moving forward, and then, um, you know, that's about it. I appreciate you coming along. I got I to get going. Uh, my brother got a deer this, year, this morning, um, so he's out getting that right now, and then when he gets back, we're going to have to cut that up pretty quickly. It's, it's pretty warm out today. It's going to be 
uh, upper 60s so we got to get that at least quartered in the fridge and we might have to cut the whole thing up and get it in the freezer um, if you're interested in that kind of stuff we have a patreon channel where he's going to have a video about the hunting process on, on that um, he's not putting those on youtube just because he's he's worried that youtube won't won't uh won't like that and then also we have some podcasts and some other things over there and we'll have a lot more moving forward now that it's actual hunting season so if you want to hang out over there you know it's five bucks a month uh, it's a it's a cool way to support us um you know also you know just just watch this video i appreciate it um i've always appreciated the support it's cool you guys are cool um i'm gonna get going thanks for hanging out uh take it easy be good